What's in the air you breathe? Over 90% of the world's population breathes dangerously polluted air, and the problem is worsening. So it's a great idea to measure the actual pollution levels in your environment, be it outdoors or indoors. If you live in a city, you are surrounded by many different sources of air pollution. Vehicles, factories, construction sites, and in general the burning of fossil fuels. A frequently overlooked issue is indoor air quality. Dust and activities like cooking can significantly lower indoor air quality. If you are allergic to dust like me, you know what I am talking about. All of these activities produce tiny particles called particulate matter or PM for short. These include dust, dirt, soot, smoke and liquid droplets. Some of these are so small that they can get past your lungs and even enter the bloodstream. The two kinds of particulate matter that are of most concern are PM10 and PM2.5. The numbers 10 and 2.5 refer to the size of the particles in micrometers. Exposure to small particles less than 10 micrometers in diameter poses the greatest problems including heart attacks, asthma, decreased lung function, difficulty in breathing and even premature death in people with heart or lung disease. Exposure to diesel exhaust including particulate matter can even cause cancer. I researched quite a few PM2.5 sensors for Arduino before settling on the plant tower PMS5003. What I found is that it's best to get a sensor which has an intake fan. These are simply faster to respond to changes in air quality because they are constantly sampling newer batches of air. With the plant tower PMS sensors, the first digit in the model number is the generation number or series number. So you've got 5003, that's the 5th generation, 3003, 3rd generation, 7003, 7th generation. But really, any of the PMS range of sensors will do the job. Make sure that the PMS 5003 you buy comes with the cable and also get the JST to DIP connector. This will make it much easier to connect the sensor to your Arduino. A tip on powering the sensor and the LCD display. I recommend using an external 5 volt power supply or a breadboard power supply source like I did for the sensor and LCD display. Powering both from the Arduino can cause stability issues and even LCD display errors. Follow the link in the description to get the Arduino code. After uploading it to your device, wait 30 seconds for the sensor readings to stabilize. During this period you may see very high readings, but it should soon settle down. The PMS5003 comes pre-calibrated. As you can see, accuracy outdoors is pretty good. I got 2.5 readings that were very close to that reported by the government air quality monitoring stations. Indoors, the readings were much lower as expected. I happened to burn something in the kitchen and as you can see the sensor readings went off the charts. Hope you had fun with this project and do leave a comment if this video helped you.